Story time about how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram account, not knowing it was really me. Disclaimer is not my story time with sending me on Instagram. The funny thing is that when my boyfriend and I got together, I did not want the relationship. He begged me for six months to be his girlfriend. And you see, the only reason why I didn't want to was because I knew that he was a player. Every single one of my friends had basically gone out with him. I was just the last girl in the group to go out with him because I always kept saying no. And looking back, he was definitely obsessed with me because I never gave in to him. I was the girl that he couldn't have. During those six months, he would hit me up on Instagram every single day. Anytime I posted a story, he would automatically reply to it. He would like and comment on all of my pictures. We also had a lot of mutual friends, so we would end up at the same events and parties. And every time that he would see me in public, he would zero in on me. He would basically ignore all the other girls at the party and make me feel like I was the only one there. And he would constantly compliment me and tell me how beautiful I was, how attracted to me he was, how I was just so different from all the other girls that he had gone out with. Trust me, I knew that he was love bombing me, but eventually after six months, I was like, he's got to be honest. So I decided to give him a chance. And let me tell you, he has been the perfect boyfriend. He's so sweet and considerate. My parents absolutely adore him. And my mom never likes anybody. See, I come from a Latino family. One day I decided to make a second Instagram account. It was just an inspiration account. I posted cute outfits of other people I liked, makeup, nails. So one day I see my boyfriend in my DMs. Part two, part two of how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram and not knowing it was actually me. Disclaimers did on my story time was sending me on Instagram. That's when I opened up my account to see that my boyfriend had DM me. First I thought he was joking. When I clicked into the message and I read it, my heart and my stomach sank. He was taking a shot. He thought that I was some sort of influencer. Now when I created the second account, I was already with him. But I really didn't tell him that I was creating it. It was just for fun for myself. I did start gaining followers. I did put in a lot of work into this account, but it was pretty much a visual diary just for me. It just so happens that other girls liked the aesthetic and I started gaining a lot of followers. I had about 10,000. But here's my theory. Since my account is probably listed to be in the area that he is, probably popped up on one of his mutual lists or his explore page or something like that because I was trying to figure out how he found the account. The message read, Hey beautiful, I really love your pictures and love your style. I'm also really into fashion. Lol, no he's not. And I would love to take you out on a date. I know all the good spots around the city. Let me know if you're down. So when I clicked on my boyfriend's profile and realized that he had hidden all of the pictures we had together. So if he had DM'd any girl and she went to look at his profile, she would automatically assume that he's single because he doesn't have a picture of another girl. Instead of freaking out and calling him, I decided to keep cool. Instead, I called my mom. She told me to play along with the conversation. So that's what I did. Messaged him back and said, wow, I really love your pictures and your style too. What's your favorite designer? He replied, Louis Vuitton. Ew. By the end of the conversation, we had a date for that night. And I showed up. Part three is up. Story time about how my boyfriend tried to cheat on me with my fake Instagram account, not knowing it was me. Disclaimer is not my story time. I sent him on Instagram. At the end of the conversation he thought he was having with some other girl, we had decided to go on a date. And like I said, I was playing along, so I was super nice to him. I complimented all the clothes that he wore. I told him that he looked so attractive in his pictures and that I was really looking forward to meeting him. He chose a restaurant downtown. And of course he did because I live nowhere near that area. In fact, he and I never go out on dates there. So he knew that he wouldn't see anybody he knew. Here's where it gets actually really funny. This man sent a picture of the outfit he wanted to wear. A brown fedora with a Louis Vuitton monogram on it, a Louis Vuitton belt, black pants, and a black shirt. So I replied saying, that's perfect. I'll wear a black dress and my favorite Louis Vuitton purse. But I was still heartbroken. So here's what I did. I asked my mom to come with me to the restaurant. So her and I did our makeup, our hair, and we got dressed up really, really nice. And I decided to wear a black dress. My mom actually happened to have an old Louis Vuitton purse in her closet that she never wore. So I grabbed it. My mom and I show up to the restaurant and my boyfriend is already there. So I decided to walk in and turn around so that way he could only see my back my mom decided to stay outside of the restaurant but she knew to come in as soon as he saw me i suddenly feel a tap on my shoulder and that's when i turn around he says oh hey babe what are you doing here the look on this man's face was a pure fear that's when i hand up my phone so that he could see that the account that he was messaging was actually mine that's when he says you lied to me he was mad at me for pretending to be somebody else then he started apologizing and then he said that he knew the whole time and that he was just joking around i broke up with him and haven't spoken to him since let me tell y'all how I ruined my uncle's engagement proposal while I take off my makeup. So basically my uncle threw a little get together and invited my family, obviously. At that get together, he was planning on proposing to his soon to be fiance. He brought out a really big cake and that cake had whipped cream on it. Okay, best believe I dived in. Listen, I'm not a big fan of icing, but I might do a backflip for some whipped cream. Everyone got a slice of cake and it was gone. The plate was completely empty. My uncle starts panicking and looking around. Everyone starts eyeing him because he's acting really weird. Mind you, nobody knew that he was gonna propose to his girlfriend. He and my family end up having to leave early because of my little sister's ballet ceremony. Eventually, my dad gets a call from my uncle basically saying that he was planning the proposal and the ring is nowhere to be found. Now, where did he put the ring, you may ask? Well, it was in the center of the cake and it was supposed to be a big reveal once everybody took their piece. My parents come to me and ask me if I've seen it anywhere. I told them that I had no idea. And all of a sudden, ooh, I gotta take a shit. When I got to the bathroom, I was blowing up the toilet, okay? I felt something real rough pop out my booty hole. I turn around to look because it hurt and I see a ring in the toilet bowl floating amidst my diarrhea. 
part two of how I ruined my uncle's engagement proposal while I take off my makeup. So like I said, after I ate the cake at the engagement party for my uncle's proposal, I got really bad diarrhea. And when I go to the bathroom, I shit out the ring. So a lot was going through my mind at this moment. I didn't know if I was supposed to grab it. Do I reach into my diarrhea and take it out? Do I rinse it and then give it back? Or do I just flush and act like I didn't see shit? Who would really want a ring that was sitting in somebody's diarrhea? Even if I rinsed it, even if I washed it with soap, it still had the diarrhea particles on it. There's all different types of creases in rings. So best believe I flushed that shit. Act like that whole thing did not just happen. Well, things took a turn for the worse once my uncle said that he paid $10,000 for that ring. I felt extremely guilty. I'd rather feel guilty than admit to anybody what happened. Until this day, nobody in my family knows what happened to that ring. I will live with this secret until the day that I die.